Hello YouTube. Well, I got one fixed. And I don't know if I can fix this one myself. I got the valve cover off. See what's going on in there? The push rods. <laughs> We're both off. Reason. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. One of them is not right. Which one? The bent one or the straight one? <laughs> think I can straighten that out by hand and put it back on? <sighs> There's a new cover. I knew it was going to be more than that. Now, do I attempt to try and do this myself? Because I know... When you do this kind of work, these guys have to be torqued at a certain thingy dingy, right? They're just sitting on there loose now, of course. But, uh, I don't know what popped the hole. I don't know which one popped it. But there's the old cover, and it's got a hole through the side of it, right? There. It. So, I thought maybe it was a spring, valve spring, but no, the valves are still intact. They didn't pop off. It's just the push rod bent. So, ow. <laughs> That's what I get for hanging shit off the rafters, right? Whack my head on it. i got to do it about five times before I realize it's there. But anyways, that's what I'm up against. So, yeah. Think it'll work if I straighten it out? <laughs> oh. Well, she's got all the beer cans counted. Way over there. That's on the plus side. I got this one running. That's on the plus side. My truck still runs. That's on the plus side. My trailer did its job. That's on the plus side. So I guess I have more pluses than minus. Just got totes kicking around here now that have nothing in them. Holy. Got a lot of beer cans in there. There's a few bucks. Well, they average 120, so one, two, three. Three, six, six at 120, so 720, whatever's in this one, looks like 60, 65, that's almost 200 beer cans. Right? So, what do we got there? Well, 120, 120, that's 24, 36, 48, 62, about 70 bucks there. Had a few pop cans in the mix. Then the rest are bottles. And there's a few in there. I think there's some in here too. Yep. So, yeah, bottles are a pain, you know that, they are, they're a pain, because they're heavy, and none of them are the same height, and then when you put them in their boxes to bring them in, the beer bottles, see, they all can't be in there, there's brown, there's white, there's green, they want them sorted. This is considered an alcohol container, so you still get money for it. It's a Tetra Pack. So, yeah, beer bottles have to be in their specific sightings. So. Oh, the fun of doing alcohol containers. And then these things, I told her to try them out. I should maybe remind her, bring them over here. She can try them out, see if they work. They're Bluetooth speakers. Yeah, I got him parked there to see for sure that it is fixed. I don't want it leaking. I see no drippy drops or nothing, so that's a good sign. Mm. 
Woo, score. So yeah, not doing a whole lot of scrapping. I cleaned up all my copper piping that was kind of dirty. That's my number two bucket. There's my number one bucket. And see, it was this stuff. It was just stained. I thought I'd clean it up. There's no paint or solder or nothing on it. So some of them had it. And then the rest is clean. Like, look at that. It's like brand new. And they just threw it out. That's all I have for plumbing. I don't get much. But it adds up. I get a lot of stainless. Copper. Got five pails over there to do. Yeah, that's a few hundred pounds of copper there. Like the motor wise, until I strip them down, it might be. So, do I try and fix it myself? He's very busy. The guy is gonna call, he says this time of year he's busy as hell, so it could be weeks. Who knows? Plus, I gotta get a tube for that tire. I should maybe do that running around today, see if I can find one. Because it don't roll very well without it. So, anyways, that's it. Just thought I'd let you take a boo. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Thumbnail?